Hey guys, welcome to the 20th episode of I Just Wanna Open Things. My name is Rick, and today we are opening just a bunch of random stuff, but I'm pretty excited about this one in particular because I think these are brand new. I just found it at the comic book store, and I can't wait to see what's inside. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and start with one of the things that's my favorite to open, just because they're often so ridiculous, the Transformers Creo figures. The robots look really nice most of the time. It's the transformation that's usually pretty ridiculous. I am going to say that I would like to see any of the Transformers that turn into animals. So any of the Beast Wars Transformers. Alright, it looks like another vehicle. Jaguar. Even though it has an animal name, it is in fact a vehicle. I'm going to start with the vehicle transformation again, so that in the end we have a pretty cool looking robot. Whoa. Now the downfall of all of these is the fact that he holds the wheels in his hands, and that never works out. This is the vehicle mode. Guys, look at this thing. This is the head piece, and it's got, it's just got these pieces that just randomly move around. You gotta like balance it. And then you put these arms out like this, so there's just huge spaces. I don't even know what kind of car this is supposed to be, that there's just... There's nothing going on here. There's just huge space there. Now we can stop having it be a vehicle and make it a much more interesting robot. Alright, so here is robot form. And as usual, it is a lot better. It even uses the wheels as part of the backpack, which I like. It actually has all the wheels on it. Usually you just drop two of the wheels and they just disappear when he turns into a robot. So there you go. Jaguar. Let's open up the Halo figure, and I thought these were blind bags so you didn't know what you got, but I think it may just be this one guy. I think the only thing you get in here might be the Super, the super Chief. <laughs> Somewhere it said Super, uh, I think. Yeah, Super Posable. I saw Super Posable, so I said Super Chief. Uh, master Chief. I think Master Chief might be the only thing, but he's got a bunch of cool armor that you can put on him, so... Should be pretty interesting to see. So there are all the pieces, and sure enough it is Master Chief. So I'll get him put together and we'll take a look at him. This is what he looks like without his armor on, but take a look at this. His arms have ball joints in the elbows, so he is super poseable. I'll put the rest of his armor on, then we can see what that looks like. It's pretty impressive. He's got a lot of extra pieces. He's got a waist that twists, his knees bend, he bends, he's got ball joints for his hips, ball joints for his shoulders, and ball joints for his elbows. So he is an extremely poseable character. Armor is very detailed. If you're a fan of Halo or a fan of Mega Bloks, or just minifigures, this is actually really great. Let's open up the Scribblenauts figure. This is a Series 4 Scribblenauts figure. This is one of the ones I haven't opened very many of, so there's a lot of characters that I still don't have. A Catwoman or Batman Beyond, and specifically Batman Beyond are the one, is the one that I would like to get. I'd like to get this guy. He has question mark out of 18. Oh, we got Lex Luthor again. So there he is, Lex Luthor. He's got, <laughs> he's got really big, really heavy, really stumpy looking arms. One of the largest and most heavy duty Scribblenauts figure, but it's a good one. This Lex Uther is really cool. I want to keep the heroes for last, so let's open up the Despicable Me's Mega Bloks figure. And I've seen some of these, they look really cute. I want to see the guy with the hair because I don't know how they're going to do that. It's weird, this box has no real front. Even this has like the warning information on it. Is this the front? What's the front of this box? Is this the front of the box? Is this the front of the box? There is no real front of this box. Oh, it doesn't look like we got a purple one. But we did get one with only one eye. And with a test tube. Get the face. He kinda he can looks like Cyclops at this point with the little tiny visor slit. The ball joint for these arms is really tight. So getting the arm into the body, ugh, it's a bit tricky. But we did it. We got both of them in there. It actually looks really cool without his mask and without his legs. This is really cool because his goggle is actually a goggle with like stretchy rubber. So there he is. So he's got the blast face. Looks very startled. The minions are great. I'm very excited to see the new movie that's coming out with just the minions. The minions were definitely my favorite part of Despicable Me. I almost forgot he's got a beaker which probably is what caused the explosion on his face. 
All right, so finally we get to open up and see what the Heroes of the Storm mystery minifigures look like. I was told that these were a bunch of different characters from various Blizzard games. So these are the figures you can get. <laughs> these two, these three, are clearly the variants. That guy there is that guy there, except he's a chef. And this guy is this guy, except he's wearing like an Iron Patriot armor. And then this girl here is that girl, except she's in her ghost form. Uh, I would like to see this guy. He looks really cool. Also, I like the voodoo guy. Ooh, wow! His face and head are a lot different than I imagined. He's like just one big chunk. He kind of looks like uh, he's got the Hulkbuster armor on. I like his backpack. Really big. <laughs> big gun with a tiny stumpy little bayonet. So here are all the toys you can win this week. If you'd like to win these toys, like the video and leave a comment down below. If this video reaches 60 likes before next Wednesday, I'll randomly choose one of the commenters to give all of these toys to. Good luck, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, do you know anything about our new commanding officer? I heard that he's really tough. He was caught in an explosion in battle and his face is all scarred up. You know what I heard? I heard that he's only got one eye. Also, he's a brilliant strategist. His plans are so intelligent that even when he explains them to you, you can hardly understand them. Oh man, that sounds like Nick Fury. Is Nick Fury our new commanding officer? Quiet guys, he's here. Ahem. <clears throat> Badada. Oh man. We are gonna lose.